there. I just got done garage sailing with my dad. We were going to pick up a spinny slide or a turny slide for my kids play set and my daughter really really loves slides right now and I found something that I'm going to redo for my son's birthday. So I was looking online for um, I think it's called a snare drum and he is almost 10 so this is not his style but it's kind of got the right sound. It's kind of fun. It's the right shape. So I'm going to try to change a little bit and make it look vintage with some spray. So we'll see what I can come up with and if it works. Otherwise, it wasn't very expensive as opposed to $30 brand new for something or up to $100 for a more serious instrument. But I thought that he might enjoy this if I could make it look a little bit more authentic for his uh, reenacting. So I'm gonna get to it. I think I'm gonna start with this to cover the clear part. What are you doing, buddy? Cody, what are you doing? What are you doing? You rolling around and stuff. This is my makeshift holder. <laughs> yeah, it's holding. Alrighty. So this part of it came off. I think that's okay though. Those don't look too bad. Kinda almost look like wood. <laughs> and that looks a lot more neutral. You might be able to see Mickey's face in there, but uh, we'll try to keep covering it up a little bit. And then I'll do some silver on some of these things. So for this part, I have put press and seal saran wrap on the inside, and then I'm just gonna try to go around it with white, and we'll see how that goes. Maybe I should just do this the regular color again. I don't know, I'll figure it out. <laughs> so I think it's going okay, but I think from here on out, I'm going to have to hand paint it because I'm just concerned about all the taping and stuff and it might actually be faster to, to hand paint it. So that's the plan. So I'm gonna look up vintage looking or historic looking drums. I gotta hide this from my son before he sees it. So I reattached this part, this part to the drum and just the plastic look didn't look real or authentic. So even though I thought it would be simpler to just leave it that way, I think what I'm gonna do is paint the underside um, so that when he drums on it, it won't flake off, hopefully. Um, maybe it will, because it's still, still flexing. But I'm going to try to do a mixture of white and tan to make it look kind of like stretched aged um, leather. So we'll see how it goes, but I'm excited to get this surprise done for him. I want it to mainly be white with a little bit of tan, so 
if I don't spray my pants. I got these jeans for a buck at the uh, local thrift store. <laughs> How does this go? Whoops. <laughs> That's gonna be bad. Oh. Yeah, not bad. Not too heavy, but a little bit. Okay, and the rest is gonna be tan. That's the only way that I can quickly and get these lids off. I think I'm totally doing it wrong now. Now I'm gonna go inside and paint around the drum. I do wanna use metallic on a lot of the pieces, so I want it to last. Ah, it's gonna get all over me. Ah. Oh well. Look, I'm middle. Probably not good to be breathing, but you know what? I'll do anything for my son. <laughs> they have metal on them? Not really. Yeah, they didn't. So I didn't need to do that. So I can take that out because I don't need to be breathing that. But I could finish doing my nails. <laughs> Maybe I'll do some stuff. I thought I'd show you really quick one of my son's attempts at making a civil war or um, I don't know if this would have been revolutionary war too, drum. He used part of an oatmeal canister and I think part of either an air mattress or a slip and slide or something and it, it was a pretty good effort. Uh, the lid came off and the handle came off after some use. Actually I think he had uh, the plastic on both sides and I mean it did sound like a drum so I thought he did a good job especially with all of the uh, tying and everything he tried to do to make make it look authentic. So it was fun to be able to make him something that he might feel was worthy for reenacting, looking realistic out of something I only paid three dollars for instead of having to pay like three hundred dollars for or something in that ballpark for Civil War era looking a drum. Unfortunately I did not with the time constraints for his birthday get that on video uh, but this is what I did come up with and I'm pretty proud of it because oh, like I said I only paid three dollars for it and um, yes it is plastic but it sounds pretty good um, let's see if I can get it going for you don't have my stand up here my what's it called video stand <laughs> uh, oh well so you put this over it's a little bit crunchy because of the spray paint and I do need to touch this up a little bit. I've got more of the spray paint, so I will. Yay! <laughs> um, so he was really excited. He actually walked into my room to talk to my husband. My husband didn't realize that he was kind of, you know, sitting right next to the surprise that I wasn't quite finished with. So unfortunately, it was not a surprise for his birthday, but he was very excited that this is what he was getting. And so, um, I, it says 10th Regiment U.S. Infantry and 10th because that's how old he turned and I mean you can kind of see where the Disney characters were but I think it turned out pretty good. So write in the comments below if there's anything that you found secondhand that you've been able to reinvent um, maybe upcycle or, or whatever. It's a lot of fun and I enjoy making things that were, were pretty cheap looking look a little bit more fancy schmancy. And I can show you really quickly the other stuff that my son has been excited about. His aunt got him this outfit. I don't know where the hat is. He wears it all the time so it's probably in his backpack. <laughs> and then we got this for just a dollar at a garage sale and we of course we go to the library too but I thought that that was a lot of fun saves up his money to, to buy reproduction type arms to go out and dress up and uh, yep so I just thought I would share that with you and again I apologize I wasn't able to show you the process of I really just used a sharpie and a gold pen and then 
uh, what's it called? And then acrylic paint to, to come up with that design that was inspired by several of the images I saw on the computer to come up with something semi-historic looking. <laughs> So if you enjoyed this video and seeing what kind of creative projects I'm up to for my family and friends, would you please give this video a like, subscribe if you haven't already and you wanna see more content like this about intentional creative living and also hit the notification bell somewhere. That way you'll know when the next video is up. I'm aiming to post a new video every weekend, Friday ideally. So I hope to see you in the next video. YouTube thinks you'd enjoy this video and this is my most recent video. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.